and we're back with the fourth episode of the Seven Days to Die Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. We finally found the crossbow schematics. We made our forge. And yeah, now we're ready to really get going. And I think today we will make the first little cut, simply because I will have to gather lots and lots of iron, lots of stone and lots of wood. We've seen all of that before. It's basically just punching big stones until we have enough. And yeah, see you as soon as I have done that and I returned to do some stuff. And here we are back. As you can tell, I have did quite some gathering. We've got 63 iron ore, some coal, a bunch of stone and wood, which is really nice. And someone nice in the comments from the last episode reminded me that those leather couches here, you can actually get leather from them by breaking them. So I went back into the big bookstore we raided first and I've got all the couches. This is the last little piece left, I think. And I brought you back simply because as you can tell in front of us, we attracted some visitors while doing so, and they're wrecking the place right now. Let's maybe carefully get towards them. Oh yeah, just in time they made it out. <laughs> Perfect for us. <laughs> it was full here, full of zombies. And they're going. Perfect timing, I take it. At least one more. Oh, two more. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Have to have faith. Probably tell our new club is a lot better. Iron reinforced club. Push them up. Wood, take it, and let's see if we got rid of everything. Looking good so far. Looking good. There is a bunch more here. Wow, oh, I'm mad. Did they not see me? Jeez, game. I guess if they don't want to see me, I'm not gonna complain. Let's get back inside and start doing some really important crafting. Da -dum -dum -dum. The leather I gathered mainly because we could make a bunch of new armor. But first things first, we want to smelt down our iron. Where did it go? Oh. Turn it on. Now we have to start being careful because this forge attracts little screamer zombies, so-called witches. And if they see us, they will start screaming and a horde will spawn. I don't want to have that happen. First thing we want to be doing is probably our crossbow. For that we also have to do some more glue. Let's get our murky water. Killed a few zombies and got us some more bones. Can make that. What are we missing? Got the bones. Got the murky water. Oh, fuel of course. <laughs> so we want more bones. Store our leather away. Oh no, let's keep it. We can actually start crafting armor while we're waiting for this stuff. And let's take this off with a tiny bit of gold. Hook us up to glue. Very, very nice. So in the meantime, let's just scrap our old armor and search for leather. We can make the boots, chest, scarves, hood, and the legs. Oh, we wait a sec. You can only grab four things at a time. How is the insulation on it? It gives extra temperature. That's of course a little bit of a bummer in this area. But we will be leaving soon anyway. Another thing you can see, we got some nitrate powder and some lead. The lead will, is mainly used for bullet casings. The nitrate powder will be used for um, gunpowder. Super important for later on 
making loads and loads of bullets. And we want some forged iron. We need clay for it too. That's why we got more clay the last time. Everything you do costs clay as well. And we're almost done with the iron smelting. As you can see, I think one of those iron ores gives you 10 iron. We could have smelted this down, but this only gives you, I think, 5. So, and we needed the stone anyway. Might as well gather some, gather some stuff. And, come on, smelt down. What's happening? Oh. Didn't like to. Okay. <laughs> and we got the two glue. Let's quickly check what we need for the crossbow again. Crossbow. Some wood, a duct tape, two glue, two leather, and forged iron. Okay. We do have a duct tape, we do have the glue, we do have the wood, we just need the forged iron. And is it right? Yeah. Just need more clay to smelt down. Almost there. Oh, it's gonna be so great. Another thing we have to craft afterwards is iron arrowheads, simply because we can no longer use the cheap old stone arrows, we will need iron crossbow bolts. It's a little downside to the crossbow, but it's so worth it. Start doing this, It'll take a short time. Maybe in the meantime we could store some stuff up that we don't need. And we got so much leather left over. Really nice. Really nice that someone reminded me of that too. Completely blinded that out. And now it's pretty much just a waiting game. Was there anything else we wanted to do? Obviously we want to make more tools. We want to have a pickaxe. 20. Uh, what does the spiked club cost? Another 20. And I think that would be pretty much it for now. And I think then we could actually start looking for a better city. It's day four. I want to find at least a stone house to be in for the seventh night. And I want to have at least one day of preparation for it. We need to craft lots of spikes. We need to have a way on the, on the roof. We need to have lots and lots of bolts. We need to be prepared for the seventh night, man. Can't just cheap out on that. It's not going to... Turn this off. Oh yeah, in the meantime, our food situation is getting worse and worse. So let's cook up some charred meat. We actually have enough iron pipes for a grill. Adam pipes? No, we only have five. I think we need ten. Let's check this out. Cooking grill. Oh, it only costs dead. Okay. And it's done in the forge. Aha! Five iron. Actually, do that real quick. Left one up, and we got our forged iron, so let's immediately make our crossbow. Crossbow, we can do it one and a half minutes. Well, later on, we can skill our crafting speed, and everything goes much faster, too. And our grill is done. Throw that sucker in here. And we should be able to make, can we make bacon and eggs? I think we can. This is the good stuff, we should do it. Just as much as we can. I think we can only make one, but oh well. And the grilled meat, does it cost us? Two Turks. Okay, now we want to make arrowheads. How many can we make? 75? Let's do it. Relatively quick. This also goes quicker the more you level your crafting skill, I think. And there's also a, a perk for crafting. Definitely gonna do that. And we took out the fuel. <laughs> Done.
get away from the fire, we're already overheating big time. What else? What else? What else? Eat that. It gives us a bunch. Not really. Oh. Crap. What else could we be making? It costs us water. Ah, the food situation is not good. Oh, our crossbow is done. Amazing. <laughs> it's so good. And it does so much more damage than the fifth bow. And it's like twice the damage. The range is much better and everything. And we ran out of fuel here. Put the sucker back on. We need more fuel. I think it's actually beneficial to put frames in here other than wood. Airdrop. Oh, we want that. Where is it? Oh, it's relatively far. Can we make a run for it? I think we should. Is it already marked on the map? Not yet. But I think we have plenty of time. Not a whole lot else stuff to do. So we will make a run for this. Of course, we didn't bring any crossbow bolts because we're dumb. So it's going to be a melee combat only run. I like the melee combat anyway. Let's hope it's not super far because this can really trick your mind a little bit. I hope it's not behind this huge chill here. I hope it's like our side of it. But it's looking okay. We have more beer by the way. Not really. Let's drink something. Get some more stamina going. Ah, oh, yeah, see, it's not that far. We're lucky. Maybe we can find some more birds' nests on the way. That we still need for crossbow bolts. We still need feathers. Oh, oh, oh. And of course, we didn't bring any weapons because we're dummies. These jerks wouldn't run all the time. Tell me I'm not hitting this guy. Get a body shot, that should do it. You should be bleeding. Hectors. Yep. There is our airdrop. Eight point. You really want that meat. You know what? How much more shots? We only have three shots left. And I think we can't really get it. We should keep those three bullets. If they if we run into a dog, it will save our freaking life. As you can see, the airdrop is marked on our map. As I've said in the very first episode, it's quite hard to find them unless you happen to see them. And over there, I think we uncovered a new city. Awesome, so this was 100% worth. How much further is that? Okay, we're going straight on top. Shouldn't be very far. Um, um, let's hope for some really good loot. They can have all the good stuff. There it is. Oh, is it actually underwater? Hope so. Not even if it's crap, we found a new city. That's totally worth. Is it an animal or a dog? Pigs would be nice by now. I mean, they are super easy to hunt down. And of course, it's underwater. Yikes. Oh, but not far. Supply crate. Sniper rifle barrel. Flashlights, antibiotics, painkillers, another flashlight. That could have been a lot better. 
Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Let's try and find some bird's nests on the way back. Really need those. And yeah, this is a perfect example why I reduced the amount of grass here. <laughs> I can still not find them at all. Just a total bummer. Probably gonna miss lots of them. People in the comments gonna scream at me. You missed five birds' nests. Where are they? Not that rare. There's one. Please have five birds. And eggs. Nice. We can make another bacon and eggs. Maybe we're lucky and the, the stack we were shooting at actually bled out and we run into his buddy. Love that. Food situation is getting really bad at the moment. As we will have to do a hunting episode. Probably cut lots of that. Uh, only show you the hey I found an animal, hey let's kill it part. Because it's not too interesting. And apparently I really suck at hunting too, so <laughs> enjoy that. Come on. One bird's nest all the time. Is that really everything? Of course we can't find the stag. Who would have guessed that? arrowheads we totally need those that's for sure walked over a cactus again i hate that savannah oh yeah maybe go back this is one of what my uh, fellow psychraft member panic asked me why i'm not picking those sandwiches they are not really worth eating they give you fullness but they have a 60 percent chance of getting you food poisoned which that's not gonna be great we don't have the, the needs of curing it. So we really don't want to be eating rotten sandwiches. Otherwise we wouldn't have any food problems, man. There's so many rotten sandwiches everywhere. Come on, another bird's nest. Glass jar, why not? Oh, that's something else. We could have brought all our glass jars and filled them up at the river or the, the lake. But we forgot about that. What the? Oh, there's more gas barrels here. Always take those. Club one early. I also forgot to put our meat back into the chest, so getting tracked down quite hard. But we're about to be completely out of stamina. Drank my last beer while harvesting stone and iron. So now we don't have really any any means of boosting our stem anymore. But we can craft beer later on and we will find lots more too. Let's hope our forge did not attract any screamers. It's looking okay. Lucky. Yep. No screamers around. Nice. Hate the screamers. Iron arrow situation is really nice. Let's make more forged iron. How much can we make? Nothing, because we've used it all. Okay. That means we're pretty much at a point where we have to do more stuff. Let's craft crossbow bolts. Many as we can. 77. Really nice. Good that we found more feathers. Store some stuff away. 
think we can make one more bacon and eggs. Right? Two eggs, one raw meat. Have that. Get up. Store loot. Okay. Armor. Fortunately, we are in such a biome that we don't really want to be wearing it. Later on, we can find a bunch of uh, bandanas, cowboy hats, and stuff that will cool us down, so we can actually wear armor. But right now, it's not too beneficial for us. Let's quickly check our food stat. Oh, I hear a dog. 25? Eat it? 47. And we got a wellness extra. Yes. Pretty nice, actually. Okay, I've heard something outside. Let's reload the crossbow. I'm gonna be at least shooting one fool with this new weapon to show it off. At least. Come on, if you want a zombie, there's never one, man. If you really can't deal with them, they're everywhere. Typical. Typical game behavior. Sleeper? Oh! Whoop! Where did he go? This game, man. Sometimes it's a bit on the buggy side. I swear there was a guy sitting here and sleeping. In here is someone. You can tell we're getting at a point where our tools are not too bad anymore. So, uh, for God's sake, no, no, no. Started bleeding, almost died from that. Wow. Bang! This stuff is so much better. Got him! Love me the crossbow. Eat the dog food, we need it. Mmm, so good. Never say no to a good can of dog food, man. We've searched all of this, right? So, no, no food to be had for us here. Meh, meh, meh. Okay, how is our situation looking? Everything is quite good. I think we should at least loot one more house in the city. Preferably something with a really big kitchen. We are super hungry. And then we could make it over to the next city. Hope that there is some, some better places. Because the city was nice for the start, but by now it's it doesn't really mean a lot to us anymore. And we're overheating. Noise. Yeah, baby, I've got a crossbow now. One shot. Search the car. Mining helmet. Yes, yes, yes. Wear that. Now we have a portable torch super important for anything at like night times man that's gonna be so good same for walking around in those houses they're usually super dark so especially you youtube people are gonna love this mining helmet no one here that's fairly surprising hope they aren't invisible on us or something maybe a beer Yep, is it? Hi, big mama. Oh, damn it, must be straight up missed. Er. Oh, the crossbow.
Hi, bitch. I love it. I usually only have cash, we don't need it right now. Let's get into here. Take a while though. And we got this guy. There's a gun safe here. Hmm. How long will it take us to break this? A long, long time. Something for a night, to be honest. There's a big kitchen here. Very good. Of, co of course, we just won't find any freaking food, man. Wow. This is all we want is some canned food, man. Not even asking for anything special. At least there's a bookcase, maybe we're lucky here. Nope, as usual. Is in the toilet? Nope, just a turd. No good, sir. Popped his head off. That's so worth it. <laughs> Leather gorge. Oh. There's another guy. Me? Got him. Crossbow. S bow. A backpack. Bad flashlight. Bad pistol receiver. Screw that shit. Actually, just scrap it. Underwhelming. Not even worth it. Maybe this shopping basket is a killer. A beer. Um. Who did that? Yeah, and I guess next episode we will be moving to the next city, set up a proper for us, get set down for the seventh night horde, and be looting, looting, looting. Nice headshot. I guess you can you can tell how much better I am with the crossbow than the normal bow. It's just so much better. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, that was cause right when I say I'm good with that stuff, I miss everything. Would have guessed. Take the painkillers, the pains we will scrap. More beer, very nice. Beer is really good for getting resources. Because you will be able to whack at a stone all the time. What? Oh no, come on. Why are we getting hit today? I don't wanna be hit. Jerk zombies. Dead? Okay. It's empty. Uh, what do we have here? I'm not even sure that I ever searched one of those shops before. I should have searched them all. Oh, there's a big guy in. Oh, he's so quick! He's so quick to wrecking the door. Man, he does damage. And he's so tanky. He's probably not even dead. Nope. Now oh, he is. Level 14. Very nice. Another gun safe that takes forever to break. I, I don't fancy that. Maybe later on, once we have our first iron pick, we can totally crush through those. 
much later on we can make steel and pretty much like two shot those thingies. Thing. Does this give gas temperature? Okay, don't need that. And negative temperature stuff. Another big kitchen, very nice. Hello, Mr. Crawler. <laughs> Please, and I might jinx it now, I'm gonna say it anyway, we did not break our leg yet. <laughs> so, prepare for broken leg the next 18 nights. I think this wrench is a lot better than what we have at the base. Yet again, no food in the kitchen, come on, oh, keeper. The wall. Iron boot schematic. Beat that up. Nothing in here. Really unlucky with the looting today. But I guess we shouldn't be complaining. We found the crossbow schematics yesterday. My last playthrough took me a lot longer. <laughs> we have here a hunting knife book, we've already read that. Oh, that gives us... Ah, uh, so sad. Actually, what does the mining helmet give us? Nothing, okay, yeah, we, we want to keep the mining helmet, that's for sure. Wait. Oh. Again. Didn't want to turn the lamp on for some reason. Plus temperature, just grab it. Nothing. Check out stuff. Pop his head off. Good. <laughs> Shot him in the head from behind. This gives us a lot of insulation. White tank top. It only gives us 5, the tank top gives us minus 10. We want the tank top for now. And nothing really in here. Check the washing machine. Time? 19.48. I think we could do one more. Only got 50 bolts left, so iron will become a thing now. We need to get loads of it. Probably a good idea to work towards an iron pickaxe. A lot faster. But yeah, pretty much now we need to start setting up a, a at least starter base. Shoot this guy before he wakes up. Oh, he hit him. What? Break that for us, man. You're helpful! He did not die from that. Jerk. <gasps> Again! Oh, we're failing today. Man, we're doing noob mistakes here. Searching bodies before we secured the area. Total noobs. Yes, there's just another gun safe there. Not gonna break it this time. It ups our temperature. I feel like clothing wise, it would be actually quite simple to live in the. Um, in the cold biomes, because most stuff just ups your temperature. Shouldn't be too hard to stay warm.
Brawler Boy. One shot in, so less chance of breaking our leg. Okay, got him. I guess downstairs the door that we didn't open is being opened right now. <gasps> Good mama. Hello. We're down. Hate when they fall in a way so you can't hit them. God, we are so bad. No, no, no. Oh, we might die here. Ah! Oh, no! No, no, no! No! Dang it, we're idiots. Or better say, I am. You guys are only watching. I'm the guy failing. Ah! <sighs> Was it our first death or our second one? We can check in a sec. At least it's on camera. Just had to showcase the death animation. I mean, we want to go through everything in this game, so... Spawn on our bed. What's the time saying? Yeah, now you can see minus 10 maximum health and stamina cap. Back at 50 food and 50 water and I do not think we have the time of getting our stuff back and return to here so you know what for today we will turn first of all the forge off so we don't get bum rushed and we will call this an episode let's quickly check our skill system we need to hit scavenging 20 so we can skill quality Joe, which is a really good perk 25, 50, or 100 durability points to found items. So if we find an item that has um, 100 durability and we have quality Joe 3 points, it will have 200, which is amazing. But let's check the other skills. What do we have? What could we do? This is all grayed out. Science, armor, survival, quicker crafting. We have, we have 19 points available. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know I like fast eddy. It's actually not too bad. 25% faster with each rank of this perk looting. Buy it. And the rest we will just save up. Also another nice little thing. If you die, your backpack will be marked right here. And now comes a pro tip. So you just died, your backpack is marked on here, and you die on the way to there. It's gonna delete this waypoint and make a new one where you died. So always quick waypoint this sucker, so you can find your stuff back. Fortunately, it's not fine. We would find it anyway, but it's a good, good thing to know, good thing to do. This way, it won't backfire on you. And yeah, I think it was the right decision to wait. It's almost running time. And we're just gonna hide here until next episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some likes, comments, all the good stuff. And see you next time.